is going y'all right now i'm at buck hill which is the probably least impressive but very nice to have around ski hill snowboard hill probably the entire state nonetheless i'm here because i'm doing a virtual tour of burnsville minnesota a place near and dear to my heart i grew up in apple valley i was in burnsville all the time pretty much grew up here i'm very excited to show you around all right warm today <laughs> let's get it How's it going y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch. I run the hardest working real estate team anywhere in the world. We're called To The Twin Cities, but this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home here in the Twin Cities, whether you're moving here from out of state or just buying a house for the first time. That's what we do better than anybody else. So if either of those things appeal to you, do us both a favor, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up, and say what's up in the comments. Right now, I'm at the Burnsville Center, which is basically the Burnsville Mall. And again, today's video is a virtual tour on Burnsville, Minnesota. I grew up going here constantly. This was like the mall that I went to. I preferred it even over the Mall of America just because it's easier to navigate. There's a great, great movie theater over here. Paragon Odyssey. It's crazy movie theater with you know, Greek statues and reclining leather chairs and whatever. Super great spot. But anyways, I'm excited to show you around. I have to go meet up with Nick. We're going to the dog park. Super up Nick's alley. Not a dog yet, but I will. All right, uh, let's go for a drive. Right now we are at Lake Alamagnet, specifically the Lake Alamagnet Dog Park. Super cool dog park. There is a pond, but fair warning, it might seem very enticing. Your pup really might want to go swim in there, but they don't monitor for blue-green algae. Nick's telling me, terrible. Potentially very, very toxic to dogs. So back in the day, dogs swam there all the time. Dogs, uh, you don't see dogs swimming there anymore. So just generally something to keep in mind. But this dog park is part of the Lake Alamagnet park overall, which is awesome. There's baseball diamonds, there's soccer fields, there's playground, dog park. Deer grazing everywhere. He literally saw broad deer, daylight. Yeah, deer grazing as we came here. And this is right in the southeast corner of Burnsville is this Lake Owl Magnet. Some of the coolest houses in Burnsville are right around here. Really, really awesome spot. I grew up in Apple Valley, which is just the neighbor to the east of Burnsville. So I was in Burnsville all the time. The Burnsville Center, Buck Hill, the garage. Shout out to the garage. You went to the garage. I did. Yeah, we hardcore kids. But definitely like the garage for one was a place that I was at almost every weekend. But even with all of the conveniences that Apple Valley has, there's still a lot of reasons that we would end up coming over here to Burnsville. Well, it's no surprise that you were here all the time. Burnsville is uh, known to be kind of a hub of the Southern Metro. Uh, all travel in and out of the state pretty much passes through here. And uh, it's got a pretty high population at roughly 62,000, which is the 16th largest in the state of Minnesota. Burnsville is also growing steadily at about 2.3% uh, since the 2010 census. And the average age is roughly 37. It's like 36.8 technically. That being said, uh, Burnsville is pretty established been around for a while and a lot of the new growth new building is happening uh, just to the west southwest places like Lakeville Savage in particular uh, as well as uh, parts of Shakopee. Hey, we have a virtual tour on Savage and also one on Lakeville. Truly a lot of the growth of Savage is owed to the fact that Burnsville is pretty much full. I mean they're still doing some new development here but it's mostly a firmly established suburb at this point. 
cool. So as I mentioned, Burnsville is a hub in the South Metro. Borders, roughly speaking, you've got the Minnesota River to the north, to the east, Highway 77, AKA Cedar. To the south, you've got County Road 46. And to the west, the border goes vertically somewhere in between uh, Highway 13 and 35W, yeah. pretty much right down the middle. Yeah, they basically just drew a line. As Nick said before, I-35, aka basically the biggest interstate in the country goes right down the middle of burnsville but it actually splits off right at the southern edge of burnsville right by buck hill and it turns into both 35w and 35e 35w will take you right down to downtown minneapolis 35e will take you right down to downtown st paul both more or less 25 minutes from the southern tip of burnsville without any traffic. You can definitely get a lot higher than that during rush hour, but more or less expect about a half an hour drive to either downtown from here. And lastly, Burnsville is about 15 minutes from the MSP airport. And according to niche.com, Burnsville as a whole is graded as an A minus. Uh, that being said, uh, when we take a look at schools, so District 191 serves about 70% of the area, but there are other options. Yeah, so District 191 serves specifically, it's Burnsville, Egan, and Savage. So it's kind of this like Northwestern part. But if you're looking for better schools, you might want to go to the Southern and the Eastern edges of Burnsville to the Southern edge. About 10% of the population is served by District 194, which is like Lakeville North, very good school. And then to the Eastern edge, actually where we are right now, and a lot of kids who grew up right around here actually went to my high school, my elementary school and my middle school. So we are right now, we're at the Bicentennial Park, clearly made in 1976. <laughs> but yeah, we were gonna go to the heart of the city and I really would like to show you that, but it's just full of construction. But nonetheless, the heart of the city is a very cool spot. You can look it up. Maybe we'll put a link down in the description. Good spot, great place to like come with kids or I don't know, get some ice cream or whatever and just enjoy an afternoon. We're talking pros and cons of Burnsville. What do you got? Pros. Burnsville is extremely well amenitized. There is a ton of commercial and retail. There's Costco, there's Total Wine, there are multiple Chipotle's. What more could you ask for? Also, great views of downtown Minneapolis overlooking the River Valley. It's hard to get views in Minnesota and being in the River Bluffs is a great place to do so. Also, we talked about it earlier, housing stock, great options, tons of variety in all different price points. So that's great. Uh, there's something for everybody here. Yeah, I would say for me, one thing that I really like about it is that it's close to the city. I Again, I grew up in Apple Valley, which is even a little bit further away, but to get to school in downtown Minneapolis was like a half an hour, most days, right? Maybe a little bit longer, sometimes longer on snow days, but it's super convenient while still having a pretty chill suburban feel. Another pro that I like about it, as far as suburbs go, is that the houses are actually unique. Not fully cookie cuttered out, don't get me wrong, there are definitely some cookie cutter parts, but <laughs> It's more established. You're gonna get more mature trees, mature natural parts, and then just the houses are, they've been standing here a long time. They've been renovated a bunch of times. So they just look different from house to house. Uh, what do you got for cons? Cons of Burnsville. A big one is that it is very developed, almost fully, as we mentioned earlier. So if you're looking for a new built home, there's probably better options for you. Those would include Savage and Lakeville. There are other suburbs, but if you wanna stay in the South Metro, those are gonna be your best bet. Also, as I noticed the other day while showing some houses and I've noticed in the past, 35W and 35E, they're noisy. There's a lot of row noise up to a mile from the highway. It's a very heavily trafficked corridor of the city. So that's definitely a con. Yeah, it seems like they're not doing as many sound walls as maybe no. you might get in a city. But yeah, you definitely, there's just this sort of faint like humming. Of, noise. of road, yeah. Not the end of the world if you're super far away. If you're looking for a sanctuary, maybe not the best spot. It's there. Yeah. All right, my cons. I'm going to say the first one is that the northwest corner of Burnsville is literally a waste management site. So probably going to be a little stinky over there. It's actually. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to guess. And then the last con is that the schools, primarily the schools, that District 191 that serves 70% of Burnsville, it's just okay. They're talking a B, B, B minus. B minus. And they just aren't the best 
in the Twin Cities. But if you love Burnsville, love these amenities, and want really great schools, again, check out the southern edge of Burnsville. You'll get Independent School District 194 for Lakeville North and that, or go to the southeastern edge and you'll get Independent School District 196. And if you get into one of those school districts, then you can definitely get some A-rated schools while still being in Burnsville. All right, so going over that way. housing is concerned in Burnsville. It's got a, quite a wide variety of housing stock. As far as single family goes, you can get anything in the low 200,000s all the way up to 2 million if you want uh, the lakefront in a large lot. So uh, quite the variety. Uh, and if you're really enamored by the city, you can get into a townhome or a condo uh, for roughly around 100,000 all the way up to a half a million. So there's a plethora of options for you either way. Gotta close this gate. As far as the housing stock style, you're gonna see a lot of split level entries as well as ramblers from the 50s, 60s, and through the 70s in Burnsville. Uh, in part due to the age of the city, and the completion of 35W. And by the 90s, most of the land that is developable in uh, Burnsville has fully developed. And then one last kind of interesting note is that it has a sort of high renter population coming in at 36% of the population does not own their home, they rent it. Let's go. Right now we are in the Marson Hill neighborhood, which is really a good example of some of the newest houses in all of Burnsville. For sure, this whole neighborhood was developed in the 90s and basically they weren't building new houses in Burnsville after the 90s. If you've been watching these videos, you know that we started doing a for fans of section. And I'm gonna say that for sure, the best, most similar neighborhood or city in the entire Metro is gonna be Roseville, which we do have a virtual tour on and you should check it out. It just has a lot of similar aspects, tons and tons and tons of commercial and a pretty good variety of housing stock. Again, you can get into it an older condo for cheaper. You can get into a single family house around 300K, but you can also get a house like one of these or just a super nice house, name it, right? <laughs> and then I would say the next best would be Bloomington, partially just a combination of new and old homes and commercial space. If you are particularly interested in the Southern Metro region, some other videos of ours to check out would be Egan, as well as Savage, we've got our neighbors to the east and west there. As far as the vibe and overall feel, Invergrove Heights and Little Canada are gonna be very similar as well. Yeah, I think there's probably like a handful of spots that feel pretty similar, but these are probably the closest. But if you're thinking about making a move to the Twin Cities, do whatever you can to hit us up. You can go to our website, twotwincities.com. You can call or text us at the number on the screen. Very likely one of us will answer those. You can email us at info at twotwincities.com or you can knock on Nick's front door. And as you exit the video, please do so safely. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up and say what's up in the comments. Appreciate you doing this. It's hotter than heck. It okay, is. I'm gonna keep it it's clean. and hot. It's real heckin' hot and appreciate y'all <laughs> watching this and uh, we look forward to seeing you. Cool. Bye-bye.